Dion Waiters with the Miami Heat, here with Hip Hop since 1987. HipHopSince1987.com What's going on? It's your boy E Money here with a great friend to the site, my man Deion Waiters. What's going oh, on, bro? What's up, baby? You know it's always love. Indeed, indeed, man. We're gonna start with the with the big bash that you put on for the city every year, the suit and tie affair, yeah. coming August 4th. Tell us why it's important for you to do this event for the city each year. I just think it's something different, especially with the crowd that I bring. And um just just trying to put something together nice in the city, man, you know. You know, everybody do parties and things like that, but we're trying to make this a yearly event, which has been successful. So uh, we just want to keep it up. And most important, just have, you know, something to look forward to. Okay, okay. Now, I heard uh, you got some 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 celebrity hosts, yeah. a few beautiful ladies, a uh, couple other yeah. athletes. Maybe you can let us know who you're hosting the party with and what other celebrities will be in the building. Uh, I got uh, Bernice Burgos, uh, Raven. Her okay. name's So Raven on Instagram. Um, okay. Half of the Miami Heat team. Morris Twins, Meek Waynes, uh, Meek Millie, uh, man, it's, it's a handful, yeah, it's a lot, go. it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be a nice put together little event for us, you know, it's something that I look forward to, you know, I don't really go out, so, yeah. like this for me, it's like, it's like one of my kids, like, gotcha, gotcha, you know what I'm gotcha. saying, like, I look, like, I put everything into it. You look forward to it. Yeah, I look yeah. forward to it and things like that. Most of the though, I look forward to seeing everybody dressed up, man. Right, right, right. Like, people we won't even least expect. Level you know? up. Like, 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 the OG, like, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, the street dudes and all that. Yeah. Who be coming through looking dressed Like, it'd be nice, man. That, that right there put a smile on my face. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, let the people know where they can get tickets at so we so they can get in the belt. Oh, man, the link is in my bio on Instagram. Uh, Waiters3. Um, Go up, go, you know, go uh, click the link, and um, the tickets is moving, man. I'm be honest, yeah, everybody yeah, who had tickets yeah. on the street, okay. damn near sold out those. Okay. So you know, right. only thing we got left is really the ones online. So you know, get on it listen, fast. Go hit the link, man. Yeah. Come enjoy yourself. I promise you, I promise you, this year is gonna be one to remember, for real. All right, all right. Now let's talk that basketball, man. Congrats oh, man. on that contract. Oh, appreciate it. Congrats on that contract, <laughs> man. God is good. So um. How does it feel to finally, you know, settle in and have a home with the Miami Heat? Oh, uh, I feel great. Just, I mean, just, it's so much more of just um, the hard work I put in, just to finally get that recognition. And um, what's important, just to show the people that I'm a winner. You see what I'm saying? Like the things that I did when I was healthy, when I was on the court. You know, this, this like the only year I ever missed this many games due to whatever. But at the end of the day, like. When I was on that car, I produced. Absolutely. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. 30 and 11, second half of the season. 23 and 5 when I'm on the court. You know, so I just think, man, just I got that chance I always wanted. And when, when, I, when I got it, man, I took full advantage of it. Now, after seeing some of the critics talk about how you were able to play with the Miami Heat, did it feel good to get your just due, or did no, you kind of feel like... Yet. I ain't done yet. Okay, you know okay, okay, I ain't done yet. Okay. I ain't satisfied with that at all. I mean, I was just—I think for me that was a little taste. Okay. So there's a whole lot. I'm 25, man. Yeah, so can. at the end of the day, like we—we we not going away. Yeah, they got, they got more years in there. That's how I feel. I'm here and I earned my spot. Okay, okay. That's why I say. That's why I always say on everything you see I post or anything like that. Bet on yourself and double down. That's the move. You see, every everybody, everybody running with it. Everybody. Now, with that being said, I'm going to ask you the question that every uh, guy in my pay grade was wondering after you signed your contract, and then we seen some of these other people sign contracts. Yeah. It's a blessing to be able to get paid no and play ball. No question. But did you feel like, damn, I should have held out when guys like J.J. Reddick is getting $23 uh, man, million for listen, one year? You got to think about that at the end of the day. When what happened last year, they just threw that money out there. Right. But like, it was a lot of bad contracts right, last year. Right, right, right. So this year, a lot of teams are more safe. Gotcha. A lot of teams are more safe. Like, we not throwing that out there like right, that. Right, Even right. though I know, like, for real, for real, what it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm blessed with the situation. Yeah, and I'm gonna make the best of that. But at the end of the day, we know what's up. Gotcha, gotcha, so, gotcha. Just from last year and this year, they, they took their time with it. There was a lot of bad contracts going out there last year because the money was so, it was so much money. The cap was so high. The cap wasn't that high this year. 
but no part, I mean, and I'm sure it's no hate. It's oh, an individual, no, you don't guard this, but when you see I'm JJ Reddick, 23 million for one year, and you put in that work, it wasn't like, God damn. Damn. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, no, nah, I mean, Say I'm, no I'm excited for you. you I mean, go. you deserve that. You, you got family, you got that. I'm dead serious. Like, uh, no, I no, just, I believe in you, know. I wasn't on that type of time. You that type dude. Yeah, like I'm not that type of person, man. Like, go get it. Like, you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. But we know what's up. Like, yeah, absolutely. Said, Look, that's why I'm asking the question. Yeah, you got the handle on, baby. You know where we from, man. Absolutely. <laughs> so, I don't okay. like really get into all that. Like, Say no more. Say no more. You know, we winning, man. Mom 52 blessed. for four years? That's absolutely winning. Think about it. You got to think about it. There's no taxes, man. You see all that. Plus right. more. Absolutely. You just got to really just save your money. And really so do the right thing. Have fun, but. See, you know what I'm saying? I'm 25, man. I got another one. There you go. And you from man. South Philly where the property value is going up crazy. So, you we know. We're going to block for There real. you go. It's okay. Now, I'm let me ask one. you about some of the comments that Odell Beckham made about him wanting to be the highest paid athlete, period. And NFL players being able to get at least two-year guaranteed contracts. Right. I know that ain't your sport, but I just want to right. know as an athlete, what are your thoughts on what's I mean, happening I in the NFL? I didn't, watch, I didn't watch a lot of that. So... I don't want really to be in like, got caught gotcha, up gotcha. in all that, like for real, for real. Gotcha. Like, it's me just being honest. So I respect them because, you know, the football contract's not guaranteed. So whatever you can get, go get. Right, you know right, what right, I'm right. saying? Right. Whatever that guaranteed money you can get, go get that. And then, you know, because that football stuff is serious, man. You get gotcha. hurt the next day, they cut you. Right. Facts. So you Facts. Gotta, you got, while you hot, you got to go get it, man. Okay. Now, back to the heat. Like you said, you, you you done settled in. When you first got there, was it hard to kind of find your rhythm to know, or you said, no, I'm going to show them what I got. We're getting right to it. No, oh, man, at the end of the day, I just, had to, I, I just wanted to ease myself in there. That's why, like, the first right. one or two, I was trying to, like, just really figure it out. Right, you right. see what I'm saying? Like, I was just trying to figure it out, put everything together. And then once I got it, I had got hurt. I had missed, like, 15, 15 games, whatever. Then after that, I just came back in my bag. Like just on some, just on a whole different type of level, mindset and all that. It was obvious that the confidence was there, like you said, once you got on the court. But after you got traded from OKC, was there ever a moment where he was like, man, like, they not believing in my talent? No, I don't even think of that, because, you know, you know, that whole situation right there, was that was a sticky situation. Like, at the end of the day, I feel like they played with me. Like, you played with my family, you played with my life, you know what I'm saying? But I was told, I was told one thing that didn't happen. That a lot of people don't know. What was you? If, can you share that with us? What was I mean, you? I mean, you know, like, they said they was going to do X, Y, Z, and gotcha. it didn't happen. So, X, Y, Z didn't happen. Gotcha. You know, at the end of the day, man, I, I sat back, I took back, like, okay, damn, like, back to the drum board, man. Fell in a way better yeah, position. Yeah, like, I said, you know what? Everything happens for a reason, man. Nice. And I ain't gonna cry. I won't cry. And that's when I came up with that, you know, better on yourself and double down. And that's right. what I did. Right. Now, it's funny you, you, you say that because there's a lot of talks about Kyrie yes. and trades and him possibly coming to Miami. And me and you, we've been doing this for a minute, so it's a lot of layers of that conversation for us. In the past, it was y'all had a problem. Yeah. And you told me straight up, man, we never had a problem. I don't never, even know why people ever. Never ever saying that. Yeah, I know. So, it's never been a problem. How, 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 would, how would it look if, if Kyrie did come down into Miami? I mean, yeah, help. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, like I said, man. Like, there's no, like, it's the alpha mode over there, too. There you go, all right. For myself, you know what I'm saying? Right. I think that was my biggest thing with everybody, just, oh, he got yeah. irrational confidence. That's, man, I got to tell everybody, man, if I come from here, if I can make it from here, man, like, I'll make it from anywhere. Thanks. Mom got shot, my dad got shot. Like, come on, bro, there ain't nothing I haven't seen. Right. Right. Why not? I need that confidence to get through. Every day I need that confidence to get by every day. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. I ain't got nothing to do with ball. It's who I am. It was instilled in me, man. Like, right. But you know, the alpha man over there already. Right, right, right. Y'all can coach this yeah, stuff. You come down, you can come down, we can book it together. There you go. I mean, Have you talked to Kyrie since nah, nah, that? No, no, I ain't talking. I ain't talking. I, this is a sticky situation, man. I try to leave all them type of situations alone. Play ball, do what you got to yeah, do. Yeah, I got I to gotta worry about Dion. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. I can't worry about everything else that's going on outside the world, man. Gotcha. I feel you. I feel you. Well, I got to ask you one more question pertaining to that. Just his thoughts on leaving Cleveland and the whole leave LeBron thing. What do you, what do you, how do you feel I'm about that in, in the organization of Cleveland? I mean, listen, like I said, man, we talk, we have talks, man. Right. I won't say I'm, I'd be lying if I say I'm surprised. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So, That's saying enough. Yeah, I'd be surprised. Like, 
I'd be lying. So at the end of the day, like, I knew what's up. At the end of the day, I mean, I, I respect it. I mean, I respect this. He won one, he feels as though it's time for him to go take on a bigger role, be that leader, be that guy, and you is that guy now, but he want to be that guy, I guess. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know me, I'm going to ride with that decision. Absolutely. I respect that decision. Batting on himself, like you said, got like to. you did. Got to. He got to. He know, he know what it takes to win. Right. He learned all that from Brian from playing for four years. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. So you yeah. know what it takes. Yeah. That's how I was. Not playing with Brian. I soaked everything I was a sponge. Brian took me under the, under the wing. Day one. Mm. Learning every little thing, how you take care of the body. He's a pro's pro. You know, he, he, he just, he's a true professional. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then when I went to OKC, it was even worse with KD and the rush. I mean, KD took me right from every day working out the other day, you know what I'm saying? Going at it. What's up, Walt? You know, going at it, things like that. So, man, I got to tell everybody, man, I, like, I had the best of both worlds, man. Like, I learned so much that it, it made me ready for this situation right, I'm in mean, now. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, so, right. I needed to take them steps back. But at the end of the day, I don't call them steps back. I was really just. Practice shots. Oh, uh, man, step by step, man. Absolutely, man, absolutely. You know, and when I got my chance, like I said, there's no looking back. Hey, Pops is 1987.com. What it is that I felt, what could I bring to the what could I bring to the table? These are some of the greatest lyricists, great musicians in the world. What can I bring? I said, I can bring that I can get, I can be as enthusiastic and as serious about their music as they can. So once you've gotten to that, to that point, now what I want is I want everybody to hear it. I want everybody to see it and hear it. And that's why I started Interscope, you know, because I want people to, I want to find artists and let, let the world hear them. You know, when I heard Dre and Snoop, and you know, there was no gangster rap or whatever it was anywhere in the world. We just said, look, we're going to blow this thing everywhere in the world, blow this everywhere. It's just going to happen, you know? And we put everything we had into it, but that's what it's about. It's getting, it's understanding the artists you're with, committing to them, and then just going.